So here's the sign into Lavels Lake, just across the little footbridge to my right. And uh, it takes us in from the car park, which is off to the east of Lavels. We'll come down the uh, tarmac path and we'll take a, a quick trudge down there. For those people that don't come here, or those that may never come here, um, it's just it's useful just to show in some respects. Just kind of see if I can look over there. I might be able to just catch the tails of the deer just legging it off so I don't get time to zoom that up. But, uh, It's barely 200 meters from the car park to uh, Bittenhide. And um, as you can see, it's, a, it's actually a tarmac path. So uh, if you're not especially mobile, even if you're in a wheelchair or a mobility scooter, you can get down to Bittenhide. There's a ramp, as you'll see in a minute. Uh, the reason Lavos is a success is because it's got areas that not everyone can traipse around on. To have wildlife, you have to have areas that people can't get into. It's a good balance. If people can get everywhere. So just looking back up to our friend's bench. It's a memorial bench. People that have... Uh, done things for us. There's another bench. That was for our good friend John. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's all about getting the balance between conservation and providing facilities for people to enjoy the wildlife that visits. And yet yeah, we're all a bit uh, bonkers about birds, but we get absolutely tons of dragonflies and damselflies and uh, all sorts. You can see the Phragmites rebuild on the left, billowing around in the wind. This is a new fence on the right and uh, we put this in because we dug a new meadow or dug a new water meadow out of a grass meadow and it's now a wet grass meadow. It's like different uh, from before. Here is our substantial heavy duty uh, fence and viewing screen. I'll take a little peek through, but uh, there's rarely much here. This is uh, an area we dug less than two years ago. There's just a few little teal just flying up. We'll see what else we can find, but as you see, we're already at the hide. Little ramp. Most of this was underwater, and if you can make out the tide line on the second, sorry, on the very bottom flap there and above, when it's flooded, the bottom of this hide's underwater. That's because we didn't follow my design. Here we go. Yep, yeah, sure enough, nobody here. <laughs> 